Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial on creating interactive PowerPoint presentations. Um, I want to teach you today how to create multiple choice quizzes that generate automatically feedback for your students. So if they click on the correct answer it'll take them to a, a tick. If they click on the incorrect answer it'll take them to a cross. You only have to have a limited knowledge of PowerPoint to do this and a template is provided at the URL below. You've got slideshare.net slash David Crenidi slash interactive PowerPoint template or the tiny URL address you can see. Okay, let's show you what I'm talking about when I say interactive PowerPoint presentations. Here's one that I did earlier on uh, prepositions. Now the first question says the boy is sitting blank the rocking horse. If we click in, that's obviously the wrong answer. And it took us to that uh, that uh, slide with the, the cross. If we click on, which is the correct answer, look what happens. We're taken to a slide with a tick and then back again to the first question. We click on the icon for the next question and the same thing. No, that's wrong. Yes, that's right. And I've got multiple questions in this one, the same sort of thing. We don't need to go through them all. What I want to do now is start getting into how you can do this yourself. Now, uh, this is the template that allows you to make these uh, presentations. I'll just delete these two when you get this template it'll just have these 10 slides on it and like I said it's available at that URL you saw before now the first two slides are just where you can put your uh, heading and instructions the second one is where you can have your kids put their name in class after that we've got this yellow one which differentiates the questions in your quiz from the actual template slides now the four important template slides here uh, a one with A as the correct answer, this one has B as the correct answer, this one has C as the correct answer, this one has D as the correct answer. So what we do is we first of all think for question one in your quiz what do you want to be the correct answer A, B, C or D? Let's say you want C as the correct answer. Click on this one you can see C's in green there. We'll change that later. Control, copy the slide. So right click on that slide, copy it. Click above the yellow slide and then right click and paste a copy of that slide in with C as the correct answer. Then simply type in number one for your question one and type in your question. and put in some possible answers making sure the correct one is next to the green box okay so I'll say zero one two three and then choose right your next question what do you want to be the correct answer a b c or d let's say you want a to be the correct answer for question two right click on this slide copy click un you've got question one here click under question one and you'll see a horizontal cursor flashing paste that slide in and you'll see a is the correct answer then simply type in question two and type in your responses so you can see we've got two questions here one and two you can put in as many as you want the same way that I've showed you with those first two it's simply a matter of copying and pasting so copy whichever one you want and paste okay so question one question two now of course before you give this to your students you're going to want to get rid of this green and that's basically the only thing that you even need a modicum of technical knowledge for and I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do it right click on that green box and you'll see this menu in PowerPoint 2003 it's very similar 
I think in, you'll choose format or auto shape in PowerPoint 2003 but in 2007 it's even easier click on the drop down button next to the fill color icon and choose this gray and that's exactly the same as the gray of all the other buttons okay same thing here <clears throat> right click choose this icon and like I said for 2003 I think you don't have that option just click format shape and you'll see another window uh, it's a little bit different to this but just follow your nose look for the color and change it to gray and once you close that bingo there it is okay so we'll just test this to make sure okay what's one plus one no it's not one but if you click on two that'll take you to your slide there so escape and as you can see after all these template slides you've got the finished one and you've got your tick and your crosser there that's where the PowerPoint's directing to now once you've finished actually creating your quiz for your students and you've changed those boxes to grey you can del then delete all these slides down the bottom these template slides you don't need them anymore okay and there's your quiz for your students if you don't want their name delete that one too just give them the instructions get straight into the quiz and there's their finished slide when they're done okay that's about it any comments or uh, questions feel free to post them and I'll, I'll try and address them hope that was helpful and just a quick reminder if you want to get that template it's available for free download at my slideshare site slideshare.net slash David Cronetti slash interactive PowerPoint template or the tiny URL there. Okay, thanks very much.